When I was a kid, the sky was blue, the lawns were green, and the Buicks, well, they were two-tone. Every Wednesday, the guys would gather at my house for our Cub Scout meeting. We were Den 7, the Owl Patrol. <laughs> I was the first one to have den leader stripes. Richard was the first one to have a psychiatrist. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. What if I spent it and the guy who lost it knows the serial number? What if he comes to my house and wants his buck back? I don't have the buck. I spent it. Then what? Leave it. Wait a minute, what am I saying? It's a buck. I take it home, bury it for three years, mitzvah's my bar mitzvah money, and nobody knows the difference. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Royal job! What a mock out! Oh, come on, Grunskys, put me down. I get headaches. That's Mr. Grunsky. Mr. Grunsky, pardon? Mr. Grunsky. Oh, great, Mr. Grunsky. Oh, great king, Mr. Grunsky. The Magnificent! Oh, Mr. King, great... Gr oh, I can't remember all that. Then remember this. You guys threw us out of your den, and you're gonna pay for it. Sorry, Mark, but shaving Louie's dog is not the way to earn achievement arrows. Hey, you like folklore, pun, scout, Indian bird! Come on, Glenn, we got work to do. Oh, it's all my fault. I was greedy. I deserve to have my head explode. I think Tim was riding skateboards before they were even invented. No Cub Scout was safe from the dreaded Grunsky brothers. Ow! Ow! Gunland Bells, you got to make it to Louis. I'm not gonna make it! I'm too young to die! Ow! And I'm too handsome! Both For what? I swallowed the peas. After we do helmets, we make swords and shields. And then we can sword fight. Hey, cut that out! Louie, he's doing it again! Mom, call Chippy! Get your nose out of there! Chippy! Come! Mom liked Franklin a lot. He was sort of like Dear Abby trapped in the body of a ten-year-old. So, Mr. Anderson is still in Havana. 
I'm afraid so. My mother warned me not to marry a communist. Ah, oh, that's too deep. Well, he'll come back one of these days. I don't know. That crazy Castro loves his cheese Danish. Bell's earned his wolf badge for all the wrong reasons. Say, Diane, you can really twist. Get out of my room. Nice outfit. Flake off. Relax. Let me help you look, Diane. You need to accessorize. Mom! Wait, babe. This shirt's too big. If you wear a belt, you look really stacked. Now, each of you name one point in the code of chivalry. Tim, keep your armor waxed. Franklin, be noble, help people, and get lots of treasure. Richard, carry a very large shield. Bells, rescue babes in distress. Good. Okay, see you at school. Hey, did you see the new issue of Boys Love Yeah, I got it yesterday. five days ago. The Earl gang has cut a path of terror across that state. Yesterday, they assaulted an armored car, cold-bloodedly incinerating a three-man crew. Oh. If our viewers have any information on Earl's whereabouts, please call the FBI Section 7 at this number. More after this. Isn't that your old Cub Scout book? Yeah, I was going through some stuff. I call the movers. They're coming out for an estimate. Hard to believe the freeway's finally going through. Sometimes I think the best years of my life were wolf, bear, and lion. I guess I'll never see the old guys again. Well, why not have a little reunion? They're all over the country. You could find them, Louie. Remember the Cub Scout motto? Do, Do your, your best. best. You're right. Tomorrow, I'm gonna start looking for those guys. The overcoat, what do I do? Do I pack it? Do I wear it? I'll pack it. Yeah, sure, you know, I'll pack it, and I'll get off the plane, and it'll be raining, and I'll come down with ammonia. I'll just, I'll wear it, I'll wear it. Yeah, sure, I'll wear it, and I'll get there, and I'll get off the plane, and I'll be on the West Coast, and it'll be 100 degrees, and I'll get into a cab, and I'll look like an out-of-town schmuck in a coat, and they'll mock me, and they'll just throw me in a ditch and steal my money. Ah, I'll pack it. You know, I buy luggage at a gas station. I deserve this. Doctor. Yes, Pat? Here is your ticket, your invitation, your Dramamine, and your sleeping pills. Thank you very much. Now, remember, you have to water my plants. Yes. Take in the mail. Yes. Okay, you'll feed the cat, the fish. What kind of fish does the cat like? Oh, no, Pam. You don't feed the fish to the cat. You feed the cat, and then... You feed, feed the, the fish. fish. Oh. Yes. Bells, what the hell are you doing? I'm a professional, Wendy, okay? Bells! You can't even see my figure without the bell. Your figure is superfluous. My design is what matters. Just, just wait. 
talk to him. What's the problem, Hatchet? Hache. Yeah, great. This dress cannot be worn with a belt. It ruins the line. It's an accessory show. The whole idea is for my belt to make your trash bag look like a sexy garment, okay? Thank you. I've never been so insulted in my life. Stick around, babe. The night is young. Felt that. You know, Nicole, I'm, I'm off to my hometown tonight, and, mm -hmm. well, I'm really going to miss you. Every minute I'm with those guys, I'll be thinking about you, Sandra. Late at night, when everywhere I look, I see the brutish face of one of my pals. I'll remember your warm smile, your big blue eyes. And what else, Bells? That smooth, silky skin, the way your left eyebrow twitches when you... Mmm, Bells. Power, babe. Did you ever sip champagne out of a doggy dish? You are disgusting. Ow! Hello? You're on air. Franklin, this is Varnett. I called last night. Oh, yeah. And the night before. And three times on Tuesday, Varnett. So how's your problem with your girlfriend, Wanda? That was last week. This week is Bernice. Oh, right, right, right. We decided that you are going to try and be a little bit more romantic. Maybe slap on a little Old Spice, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I stepped into her crib with some flowers and a Whitman sampler. Put me in the ace lane. <laughs> That's good, Varnett. Yeah. That sounds like a good beginning. That's right. Till I said, woman, cook my supper. Then the bitch came down. You understand? Bitch came down. Yeah, I understand. Varnett, I think you got a bit of an attitude problem. Say what? I'm going to tell you, Varnett, why don't you think about a woman as being like a clarinet? Uh, she can't be forced, but she can be charmed. That's bull. You got to warm her up to make her play the music real sweet. Maybe you should have taken her out for dinner. Out? Man, I work for a living. I'm not some damn radio millionaire witch doctor. Say, Barnett? where do you live? Huh? Well, I'm getting some interference here. We seem to be having a little problem with our phone lines, and I'm sure our engineers are going to get right on it. Meanwhile, we're coming up to the hour now, and I'm off to join a reunion of some of my old childhood buddies. And I'm going to tell you, I am really looking forward to that. And remember, wherever you go, that the best talk is always Frank Talk. Come on, Carla, they're only dreams. Let's not worry about it, okay? Don't leave, Tim. I see it before you. The wave that never ends. Carla, lose the voodoo rap, will you? Lighten up. But I see great danger for you and your friends. It's a weekend trip. What could happen? Take this thing. Who's the chick? Tim. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Adios. Now we gotta keep it in tune. We are the Owl Patrol, brave and true. Seven is our number on gold and blue. Arts, crafts, campfires, and folklores, too. From, From dawn till dusk, we'll hoo, hoo, hoo. Gee, it's great to see you guys. How are you? Boy, I'll tell you, the neighborhood's really changed. Except for Richard, late as usual. It's kind of weird, man. Everything in Louie's house is exactly the same. You have to it? Yeah, I know, son. It looks like he's hanging on to his childhood. I know something from his childhood I like to hang on to. His sister. Oh, jeez. Come on, Bells. What? I was ten. She was like Jane Mansfield. Take me to hormone prison, okay? <laughs> yeah, remember that little thing she had on her... I'm so proud of you boys. You've all done so well. I made those special sandwiches you love. Oh, out of sight, Velveeta! Have you found a new house yet, Mrs. Anderson? We've been looking, but the prices... Oh, we'll find a nice apartment, Mom. Oh. And where's Diane these days, Mrs. A? She lives in Barstow. And what's she doing? <clears throat> uh, Mom, let me fix your hair. Oh. She's a go-go dancer. <clears throat> oh, that's better. Oh, thank you, dear. How much? $114. What? Hey, time is money. There's no street signs, no numbers. It's like East Berlin out here. You're lucky I didn't take you the long way. Thank you. Satan's coachman. <laughs> this is A. A little gift. My own design. But I'd surprise you, my dear. You know how I feel about you. 
Let me sweeten up that house coat of yours, darling. Yes. You know, Mrs. A, I'm always looking for new models. Oh, Pills. <laughs> and, of course, a matching collar for Tippy the Wonder Dog. Hey, it's Richard. I'm here. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Tippy! Get, get, your, get your nose out of there. And why aren't you dead? Ah! Mom! Home, Tippy. Now for the big surprise. I've got our weekend all planned. Da 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 da. Oh God. We're having a camp out. Check, please. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. You know, I should check my allergy charts. You know, I think tree bark is on there and certain rocks. I understand. I spent a week's salary renting this stuff, but I suppose if you guys don't want to go. Oh, uh, wait, you know, maybe it's not such a bad idea. You know, we're going to get out the city. We'll get a chance to commune with nature. We'll, we'll get a chance to explore our relationships. Relationships? With what? With bugs and dirt and scampering vermin? No, oh, Rich, with each other. I'll take the scampering vermin, thank you. Wait a minute, it could be cool. Lou, where you want to go? Where else? Mount Whitehead. Mount Whitehead? Site of Dan Seven's greatest adventure. What? Do we have the same childhood? We got lost. Dad had to call our moms to find us. It was the most humiliating day of my life. Should have been. After all, you lost the pack with the map and the compass in it, remember? I lost the pack? Mm -hmm. Incoming. I lost the pack? You had it last. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure, like I really had it. I remember it very well. We're next to that steep hill. You came over to me. You said, Bells, give me the pack. I want my fizzies. Oh, man, fizzies. <laughs> Hey, what does it say? Place blame here on my back, huh? Bells, Rich, don't make this a working vacation for me, okay? Hey, man, I carried this guilt around for 20 years. We all have. Den 7 was number one in arts and crafts, citizenship and spirit. But it all crumbled that dark day in July, and we were never awarded the Arrow of Light. I say, let's go into that forest, set up camp, and show Mount Whitehead who's the boss. You got it. Listen, we'll have to stop along the way. I'm gonna need some supplies. No spray. Tylenol, okay. Pepto, thank God. Uh, uh, snake bite kit. Uh -huh. Cockroach condo, gotta have. How are you? Right, I'm in, I'm set. Here we go. Anything else? Uh, ooh, do you sell moose repellent? Hey, man, open up. Nice starving. You got my Oreo? I got your Oreos right here. <laughs> God, this is great. Trouts are biting, beers cold, and the wives are out of town. They are? Yeah. Don't you know where Ginger's at? Don't you keep track of your old lady? So where'd they go? I don't know. Well, come on, Mark, let's split. What is it? Change of plans, little brother. Hey. What does the... Come on, we've been a long time. Yeah! It's the Bud Scouts! Hey, I'm gonna go over and say hi. You're gonna do nothing of the kind. We're gonna take those guys back to the golden days of yesteryear or your name ain't Glenn Grunsky. <laughs> this just in. Federal agents are expanding their dragnet for the New Girl Gang. This morning, the fugitive hijacked a pickup truck, leaving its driver tied to a tree and fled the scene. Details on the hour. Turn that junk off and get some music on, man. How long does it take to get something to eat? Take it easy, Duke. What's the hurry? I don't like this place. It's the only hash house for miles. You gotta eat. It's got a smell that pisses me off. Maybe you should drink decaf. Are you making fun of me, Dawson? Okay, let's see. That's a Texas waffle, partner. <laughs> Hawaiian pancakes, aloha. And a California sunshine special. 
Who ordered this? You did, sir. I hate pancakes. I ordered French toast. Ah, well, you see, France is not a state. <laughs> I wanted to eat a face, bird boy. I would eat yours. Ooh. I have lost my appetite. Then I have to charge you for this. Or not. Let's get out of here. He's getting worse, JT. I think we sent a better chance splitting off on him. He got us this far, didn't he? He's just a little high strung. Hmm. What happened to this? Got burnt in an armor car job. Everybody's a comedian. Here's the change. Get the manager. Well, he's kind of busy, huh? Mr. Winslow! The Duke. Been a long time. Yeah. Seven years to life. I swear, I didn't finger you, Duke. Ask Bill Riley. I did. He's dead. Nobody jacks the Duke and lives to serve him stinking pancakes! Come on. Everybody! Let's down to the table! You! 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 I love you. You! Dawson! Get the car. Let him go, Duke. It ain't worth it. Or what? I need to know, Louie. You're messing with our emotional stability, Louie. A tree's a tree. If I remember right, there's a good campsite just ahead. Oh, thank you, Albert Schweitzer. You should have rented a dog sled, Louie. Here it is. Our forest home for the next two nights. Forest home? Do we look like happy elves to you or what? Hey, relax, boys. <sighs> Want to say rest now? No. No. It'll be dark soon. We've got to gather wood, set a fire, put up cots, find water, fill our canteens, prepare dinner. Hey, you okay, Rich? Yeah, fine. I'm wonderful. I'm in a death camp with Daniel Boone. Building a chipmunk house, Louie? The old log cabin. Best way to start a fire. That's fascinating, Louie. It's really great. Isn't it? Say, Bells. How can you smoke in this clean mountain air? You know what, Louie? You're right. I'm gonna quit right now. Yeah, it works like a charm, babe. Great. 
Oh, my. This is a nightmare from hell. I'm, I'm next to a coyote counseling center. I don't. I can't sleep. I need wilderness time capsules. I, I, I wanted a king-size cot. I want a king-size cot. Look, uh, I, how can you open it? Don't, don't they come with manuals? Can I get a manual? Can I just... God, this is a nightmare. I mean, I'm going to dream of Lewis and Clark and drag. I'm convinced of that now. I'm gonna try, look at this. I'm, look at this. All of a sudden, I'm having a cot that is happy to see me. I'll try to open this. Yeah, you know, I'll really open this. When Hitler moves to Bel Air, I'll open this. I'm doomed. I have chest pain, cot rashes. I'm a doomed man. Why am I here with friends? I haven't seen 25 years. You know why? Because I'm a psychoanalysis. That's why. I have my head examined, but there's no counseling here. There's only woodchucks and heat tanks playing shuffleboard. I'm doomed. I am doomed. Stuff, man. War surplus. Really? Which war, Louis? Hey. All right, hey. D didn't I do it? Can't. I I I'm not helpless. All right, maybe it's a, from a Bates Motel training school. Maybe it comes with a creek attachment. But hey, then, did I need this? Did I need this? Did I have to go to Woods R Us. In 1995 for a combination pizza cutter, cot wrench. Do I need those things in life? No. I do things by myself. I should learn already. This is fine. Okay, I'll get a couple of minutes of sleep. All right, it's not Paris. So I'll hear an occasional fox fart outside. So what? Didn't I live with my grandfather? Didn't he blitz us out of my whole childhood? This is fine. Oh! Can't get the steak in it. Got you now. You're a cot from hell, and yet you're doomed. I'm gonna put the anti-voodoo knot on you now. There you go. Okay, no surprises, no shocks. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. All right. Here I am. I'm here. I won. Okay, boys, hoist her up. Section 7. G-Men. How the hell could the screws have known? Hurry up with the camouflage. Hey, we're getting that, Duke. I don't want to overwork the kid. Are you feeling overworked, JT? No, I don't hurt, Duke. I can do anything, even chop a quarter of wood if you want. Okay. Dawson, get some branches up on that roof. We got trouble. FBI, Section 7. Valley below. Then let's get the hell out. No, no. I feel safe here. Anyways, we can't do nothing until after dark. Arrogant sons of bitches are even flying a flag. Hey, I'm getting off the mountain. Now. Are you ready to cross me, Dawson? You don't mean it. You don't mean it, Duke. He's just edgy. If you feel like running things, you let me know. Fresh air, good company. Well, two out of three, anyway. Not bad for a couple ex janitors, eh? <laughs> or a couple ex auto wreckers, or ex garbage men. <laughs> you can't wait to see the look on those Pud Scouts' faces in the morning. No <laughs> lie. <laughs> ah! Keep it down, stupid. You want to blow the surprise? Gee. Give me a beer. I'm not your slave. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll take a cold one. Oh, you pig! What? And, and this? I didn't do that. Hey, where's my... Where's my cookie? Where's my beer nuts? Where's my Cheetos, man? What do I look like? An information booth? Well, for two cents, I... Hey! Those are mine! Keep it down, stupid. You want to blow the surprise? Hey, come back with those Cheetos! by a campfire. What was that? Just a hoot owl. Not gonna swoop, is it? No, Richard. They only eat mice and snakes. Oh, that's very nice. Who was those graham crackers? Right. How come you guys eat that crap? Well, you liked it when you were nine years old. We're growing up now, Louie. We're different people. <laughs> You're not getting nervous, are you, Louie? About what? Oh, uh, one-armed Pete, maybe? Very funny. You mean one-armed Pete? The Cub Scout eater? Remember how old one-armed Pete would just chop a big stack of firewood just to get his appetite up? Cut it out. Come on, Lou, you gotta confront your childhood demons. Really? Then maybe I should tell you guys something that I couldn't tell you before. Because you'd have thought I was crazy. What's that? One night I met one-armed Pete. Get out of here. I was in my sleeping bag. He dragged me off into the woods. I was too scared to scream. <laughs> he tied me to a giant spit. He was gonna roast me alive. I could hear him chopping wood. Fortunately, I had an achievement arrow and not time. And I was able to get free. <laughs> You're right. Louis, that was us. <laughs> yeah. I was the legs, Franken was the head. We were wrapped up in this big ratty blanket. Bill chopped the wood and Richie turned the spit. <laughs> Even you. Come on, Louis. It was Jump Kipper. I was vulnerable. And besides, I held my bug spray hostage, huh? Hey, we're sorry, Louis, but we thought you knew. I did know. I was just kidding you guys. Yeah, sure you were. God, <laughs> things kids will believe, huh? Kids, mm -hmm. Hey, anyone for more marshmallows? No, I'm driving. Not me. I'm on sort of a high-protein, low-marshmallow diet. Toss them over. No, I can't eat anything else. I'll tell you what, where are the restrooms? Oh, very high-tech. 
Hey, you figure 100 yards per hot dog. You had three, dude. It's about as good. I know because I took my light and I hit right on him and the cat took his axe and swung right at me and I dropped my shovel, man, and I got my ass out of there. You're wasting your breath, Franklin. Like you said, we're not children anymore. And I'm not going to fall for this again. Who could imagine such unpleasantness up here? The whispering pines, the babbling brook, the little deer frolicking in the moonlight. What are you on, man? Huh? Nothing. Richard? I took a vitamin. Richard. Okay, an aspirin. Richard! All right, all right, half a sleeping pill. Don't oh. crucify me, I'm not gonna feel it anyway. Ah! Right this way, Mr. Axe Killer, there's a four-course meal in this tent. <laughs> all right, lay it on. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm irrational, I'm overreaching, you can't believe me. Hey, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. He's got me! Oh. <laughs> Itching PJs, man. Where can I get some of those? Can't, babe. Designer original. $7,000 worth of pure soap. Okay? Looks like a pimp at a slumber party. Thank you. Say, Rich. Hmm? You mean you got any more of those pills? Yeah, yeah. thing you're chopping at wood it was damn stupid sorry duke i just wanted to pull my weight you pulled too hard look it's been dark for hours why don't we get off this mountain while we still can you don't understand the kid was seen when the moon goes down tonight that fbi camp goes with it God, the pill wore off. Franklin, Franklin, how big was the axe? Wake up. Guys, get up. We're all on the menu. Tim. Bells. What are you doing, Richard? Bells and Tim are gone. They were dragged from their beds. Huh? Bells, Burgess. Tim Olive King, don't you get it? Let's keep our heads. They're probably out by the fire. They're probably in the fire. I'll check. Franklin, Franklin will you wake up, huh? Will you share the panic? Huh? They're not out there. I knew it. Oh, well, there was no sign of struggle or mountain lion or bear tracks. You know, I want a little vacation. I come 2,000 miles, and yet I wind up in a forest with killers and bears and lions and a zombie and a sleeping bag here. What's next, Louis, huh? What's going to happen to me next? Bigfoot, volcanoes, scalp-crazed Mohegans, huh? Calm down. Wake Franklin, and we'll form a search party. He took a sleeping pill. He's out cold. Well, then it's up to us. It's our duty to find them. 
no matter what horrible danger they may be in. Hey, Bells, listen, that Girl Scout cat's probably long gone. Let's blow this off and head back, okay? We're almost there for her to have a look. At what, a couple of 12-year-olds? Timmy, Timmy, Tim, Tim, to read. Let me jog that feeble memory of yours. Do you remember when we used to sneak down to that camp and peek in the windows? Were we looking for 12-year-olds even then? No. Right, we were after bigger game. Collegiate, sexy, well-built. Counselors. Right. Yeah, but we were a couple of geeked out kids. Not anymore. Yeah. No. My chick, she's got this ESP thing. She's always scanning my head. She knows when I'm fooling around. Is that all? No problem, babe. Full moon, right? So? So, full moon sends out lunar particles that jam psychic radar. That's common knowledge. Everybody knows that. Come on. This better be worth it, man. Cub Scouts and their pets. And for being an unrepenting neighborhood bully, you are hereby drummed from Den 7. for the new age woman. Hey, what's the new age woman? Over 12. Come on. Come on. Welcome to our evening session of fitness for reincarnation. Last time I asked you all to seek communion with a previous self. Before we begin our experiments in past life channeling, I'd like each of you to share the identity with your spirit guide. Leslie? I was the Indian princess, Pocahontas. Karen? I was Betsy Ross. I made a flag. Eileen? I was Joan of Arc. P.S. It was a very negative experience. They're always the big shots. Nobody's ever like Shlomo, the peasant boy, killed at 14 by a runaway manure cart. I could do some serious channeling with those two in the corner. Once by the vent? Yeah. That gives me an idea. Come with me. There's a door at the hall's end. A brilliant light pours for the keyhole. We place our key in the lock. And the door opens. Is this the reincarceration class? Uh, are you the new students? That's right. I'm Mrs. Glenn Grunsky. You all can call me Ginger. Mrs. Mark Grunsky. <laughs> Marsh is okay. Oh, welcome, ladies. Um, please take a place in the circle. This room feels very cosmic. Yeah, my psyche is vibrating. Say. That is a very, very nice leotard. You know, my sister-in-law and I, we saved three months for this vacation. Yeah, that'll be worth it. Marsha, Ginger, we were just about to reach into our past Can't see a lives thing. and touch the souls we once were. Perfect. Have you ever thought 
You've lived before? Oh, yeah, sure. I was Annie Oakley and Marsha here was Cinderella. Cinderella? Not too bright, huh? I know, it's great. Now let the music carry you back. Allow the voices of the past to speak. Go ahead. I can't, it's too stupid. Do it. Come on. Well, now, well, excuse me for, for asking, Miss Oakley, but... Well, back there in Dodge City, you, you struck my fancy. I was wondering if I got Prince Charming and you could take that old gummer Cinderella there and mosey on down there to the old steam bath and we could have ourselves a barn burger. Did you hear that ghost? I hear something and it ain't no ghost. You reading my signal loud and clear, Miss Sanny? Loud and clear? Cowboy, but hold your horses. We'll be there. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We will. You and I are going to teach those buttheads a hard lesson. The batteries are going out. It's a good thing the moon's up. It's good for things that hunt at night, Louie. Come on, we should get a ranger or something. We are miles from a ranger station. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's the roll of toilet paper Franklin dropped. Oh, not that. Look! It's the axe killer's footprints. If we follow those tracks... Don't, don't say it. They'll lead us right to one arm, Pete. Oh, great, great. Then what's gonna happen? Hi, Mr. Pete. How are you? What do you feel like doing? You want to swap recipes now? Louie, I can't handle this. Look, I'm just as frightened as you are. But Bell's and Tim's lives may depend on us. Don't you remember the Cub Scout motto? Do your best? Oh, motto, schmato, do your best, do your schmass, who cares? Come on, do we have to help this guy get his homicide badge? <sighs> Dawson. Dawson, are you dead? Huh? Oh, what a fight. You shouldn't have tangled with the Duke. He sets his mind on something, Dawson. You can't knock it out of him. But you're okay, ain't you? Ain't you? Should have broke him in half. I thought he killed you. He only should have. When he gets back, First chance I get, I'm gonna mess him up. I'm gonna mess him up. Tracks end here. What are we gonna do? Turn back? They're probably just vacationers. From where? Beirut? Come on, Louis, this house doesn't scream of welcome, weary traveler. Look at all the crap on there. Well, well, maybe Tim and Bells are in there. We've gotta at least knock on the door. You shouldn't have tried to stop him. Duke's gone crazy. Like a wild animal. We gotta get out of here. We can't hey, let him hey, go out hey, there. Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on. Just settle down. Just settle down. Look, I can handle Duke. I can handle him. Hey, there's something out there. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know, we probably got the wrong axe killer. Come on, let's get out of here. Richard, we'll take him by surprise. We'll keep in touch. Richard, I'll bust in the door, and you come in swinging the axe. Oh, my Paul Bunyan's cousin? Think positive. You've got the axe. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh! 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 We give up! We had enough! I surrender. You do? Yeah. You do? Oh, it worked. Tim, Bells. The other one's knocked out. We'll kill you, butcher. Where's our friends? Friends? You mean you ain't the FBI? FBI? Look, whoever you are, you've got the wrong guys. We're out here on a Cub Scout reunion. Cub Scouts? Cub Scouts? Duke went down to kill a bunch of Cub Scouts. Duke? Duke who? Duke him?
Relax, then enjoy the steam. They're not gonna show. Look, these women are on a round-the-clock program here. They're dieting, pumping iron, massaging their auras, whatever. All of which jams their libidos into overdrive. You believe that crap? They proved it with rats. Bring on the cheese. Hey, cowboy. Where are you hiding? Uh, hi, ladies. Uh, Prince Charming here. Uh, Tex can't talk right now. He's got a cactus stuck in his throat. Well, come on over here and let's get a look at you. I'm Marsha, and that's Ginger. Oh, I think we made a serious mistake here. You feel pretty solid for a ghost. He's not really a cowboy, and I'm no prince. Ask my yeah, ex-wife. Yeah, Wrong seance, ladies. If you'll excuse us. Hey, 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 hey. You ain't going nowhere. He's up there, Big Mama had a huge meal today. Do we minor spells? I I think you can handle both of them. Where are you going, sugar? He made a date, remember? I'm gonna ride you like a holly on a bad piece of rope. You got a helmet? It's up the black store. Get some, get that bitch. After him, yeah! Hurry up, man. Come on, gangway, gangway, okay. Tim. What? Hello, ladies. I got your soap on a rope right here. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 you girls seen a couple of guys run through here? Ah, uh, in there, the animals. Okay, come on. The coast is clear. Let's get out of here. What about my clothes? We gotta go back to the steam room, Hey, babe. if you want another date with Matilda the Hunt, fine. See you in camp. Hey, that's an $800 sweater, babe. Listen, you have been babying me for 27 years. I've had it. I don't want to hear it anymore. You understand? Okay, huh? no problem, babe. No problem, Tim. No problem, Tim. There you are, ladies. Now don't be shy. It won't hurt a bit. Hey, what? Oh, hey, man. hey, Whoa, no. hey, oh, hey, hey, lady, what, get, what, what are you doing, lady? Get, what is Ow. that, man? Ow. What is that? What is that, man? What is that? What are those? Oh! Got the arrow of light. What arrow of light? He's got the bull of the death. Calm down now. We're in a lot of trouble. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Oh, Louis, come on. We can't leave Franklin like this. We can at least cover the body. You're right. Oh, God. Is there, uh, is there blood? No. Huh? He looks so peaceful, like he's sleeping. It's the Duke. He's coming back from what? What are we gonna do? Play dead! What happened? I don't know. The place looks all shot up. Oh no, they're all. Yeah. <sighs> Boy, did I sleep three. What? 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 What the hell is going on here? The camp has been trashed. You guys are dressed like women. Of course, I had a feeling about that. Hey, You're wait right a minute. Louie well, and Richard are just a face down. Hey, man, tell me, what have I been missing? Oh, everything. There's puppet shows, helium balloons. What you missed? You missed, you missed me having my first breakdown near a pine tree. That's what you missed. Slim, trim, health spa. You can only wonder what you two are up to. Hey, it was Tim's idea. He's such a pig. He hey, a wait nice a minute. Oh, That's low, oh, man. Partially my idea. Cut it out. There's an escaped convict up here. He thinks we're the FBI. He tried to kill us once. If he finds out we're still alive, well, it won't be pretty. That's not left, Louis. Tim, what are you doing, man? 
let's get rolling. I ain't going anywhere dressed like this. You drive. I don't drive stick. Here, I'll drive. What about me? I can't be seen in this. That's all I got. Fire it up. Floor it, babe. What the hell's wrong, man? Check the engine, Richard. What, all of a sudden I'm Andy Granatelli? Get out there! Anybody got a hair club? A wet Need this. My whole career, my reputation. Down on We had a gas. It's in the back. A show. A trailway. What can I expect from a car built by Hitler? We can get a land. We can't trust this car. We gotta get some. Richard! How's it look? I don't see it. Is it small? Somebody stole my goddamn engine. It's the killers. I can't run. I can't move. Talk to them. Maybe you can psych them out. Yeah, maybe I can reason with them. After all, we're human, they're human. <laughs> or subhuman. I know that laugh. Well, well, well. How unfortunate. Having car problems, Bud Scouts? The Grunsky brothers? In person? You mean you morons? Excuse me, great glorious king morons? Actually followed us hundreds of miles just to do this? Yeah, it's a trip, ain't it? <laughs> Where's my engine, man? No, Tim. Hostility's not the answer. How about violence? Hold it, hold it. Grunsky's, hello. Delighted to see you. Enjoy the joke. Ha ha. Because you guys are always very funny, even when you were kids, really. Nice car, but let me explain something to you, okay? There's an escaped convict psychomaniac killer up here who wants to murder us because he thinks we're the FBI. FBI? <laughs> Why, you puds always were good for a laugh, aren't you? Mark, Glenn, it's the truth. Now, please. Give us the engine. Boy, you know, I sure do wish we could remember what we did with that darn thing. Okay, what do you want? Good question. What do we want, anyway? I know what I want. Anything. Louie, give him a trip to Aruba. I want you to make us Cub Scouts again. Never. Brilliant. Yeah, that's what we want back in the den. This is easily the stupidest thing I ever heard. You call us stupid? Of course not. I understand. When you were kids, we, we excluded you from our play unit. This obviously had a deep effect on your psyche. You just want to get accepted, right? Wrong. We just want to cause trouble. Come <laughs> well, babe, initiate him and get it over with, okay? I can't. They're not trustworthy, loyal, friendly, helpful. And God knows they're not courteous. And they're not eight years old either, Louie. Louie! Cars need engines, man. Grunskis. Raise your right hand. No, like this. Mark Glenn, I'll never forgive you for this. Do you promise to do your best, to do your duty to God and your country, to be square, and to obey the law of this pack? We, we do. do. Welcome to Den 7. Pardon? Welcome to Den 7. Ah! <laughs> Can I have my engine now? Right this way, gentlemen. Okay. It's an engine. What of it? It's obvious. Those FBI pigs think a stunt like this is gonna bend my mind. Hey, you already on a heavy curve. Now, I told you, man, those guys weren't FBI's. They were campers, man, campers! But now they're back in town getting cops. Let them get the whole goddamn National Guard! I'm not leaving my whitehead! Hey, what is it with you in this place? My uncle lived in that cabin. I used to come up here every summer. He was like a father to me. He could hunt, fish, swim, even if he did have only one arm. I had no idea. How crazy you are! Look, I'm taking the kid and myself, and we're getting out of here. Now, give me the truck keys.
Oh my God! Blood! Let's go! You can run, you can hide, but you'll never get off this mountain alive! Hey, man! You guys got a maniac chasing you, man! Beat it! Hey, you're not gonna leave your fellow Cub Scouts, are you, pal? He's right, Mark. Look, 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 look. Let me in! Right, open the door, please! Open the door, please! Open the door, please! Open the door, please! I, I need the window seat. I, I, I had asthma. Let me. Oh, what kind of car is this? Oh, it's like a, like a rent, rented car from hell. Cadillac. What the hell's wrong, man? Are we out of gas? No, we are holding up. What? what? <laughs> you little. <laughs> Into the woods, it's our only hope! Come on! Come on! Man. Let's Come go! On, man. Man. Genius of therapy down the drain! Louie, it's been three blisters and a leg cramp since the last gunshot. Can we take five, please? All right, but everybody keep your eyes and ears open. Hey, listen, we've gone pretty far. Maybe we lost him. Yeah, well, let's hope we didn't lose something else. Like us! Well, if you two had any wilderness skills, you'd know if we keep Mount Whitehead on our left and follow this ridge, that we'll find civilization. Louis, isn't that Mount Whitehead on the right? No, nah, that's San Ignacio. That's Whitehead. That's Sawtooth Peak, babe. You can't see Whitehead from here. Well, then what's that straight ahead? That's the Matterhorn. Face it, we're lost. Well, not necessarily. This path leads somewhere, and we can't go back the same way we came. So come on, let's keep moving. Oh, hey, isn't this that weird tree from, from when we were kids? Isn't this the place where Louis fell down? Whoa! Uh -oh. Put your down! Put your hand down! Put your hand down! Put your hand down! Put your hand down! Hey, Louis! You all right? I guess so! I'll need some help getting up, though! What do you suggest? How about a tow truck? Ha 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 Hey guys, pull! This thing's sticking in my back. Oh. Hey! I don't believe this! Our pack! Yeah, right where you left it. Where I... Okay, Bills, you win, okay? It's all my fault. I take the blame, all right? Build my gallows high. May I see that? It is our pack. There's stuff in it. Whoa! Five-bladed scout knife. Hey, that's mine. Wow. My first Boy Scout field book. You got us a hatchet? Hey, the old spyglass. Ah, yes. And haze. Yeah, some fizzies. Ah! Ah! Proof! Proof of what? Hey, if I took the pack to get the fizzies, why are they still here? For once, I am not guilty. Yeah. Uh, can I see those? Wow, we got a some map and a compass, Louie. Great. Now maybe we can find out where we are. Well, no wonder we couldn't see Mount Whitehead. 
We were on the darn thing. So that leaves us here, close to the river. What's that square thing? Ranger station. Probably find help there, huh, guys? Yeah, if we can find a way down river. There's no trail. Well, if we're gonna get out of here by dark, we're gonna have to build a raft. What? Are you crazy? Did you hear about rocks and rapids and a thing called drowning? There's piranha and his water snakes and snapping turtles and... Calm down. I know things look grim. But hey, we found our pack. It's like we've been given a second chance after all these years. Yeah, yeah. Now, if we could keep our wits and be strong, well, maybe we could beat this goddamn mountain. Okay, Louie. We'll do the raft. Uh, I think you guys are supposed to put those fizzies in a glass of water. Great. Looks better than the book. Better check those knots for safety. Can't be too cautious with this crew. Good, pals. Nice double hitch, Tim. Richard. Uh, well, acceptable. Thank you, Captain Bly. Good effort, Glenn. Thanks, Louie. At least you're trying. Now I know why you always wore loafers. <laughs> Of the Grunsky heritage? Huh. No, no, to steer the raft. Didn't anyone make poles? Then we're at the mercy of the current. Where are we now, Louis? About here. There's more white water ahead, then a big pool. And after that. What do these wavy lines mean? It's a waterfall, man! Oh my gosh! Everybody oh, paddle oh, for Jar! Dibs on the van. Dip this, Gronsky. Let's keep moving. Tim would have wanted it that way. This is an emergency. One moment, sir. Whitehead County Sheriff. Hey, man, listen. That Duke girl guy's up here. He's trying to kill me and my friends. We saw him shoot another guy and... Okay, buddy, okay. Slow it down, please. Where are you? Mount Whitehead, near the falls. All right, we'll check it out. When? You have to understand, sir. We got reports of Duke at the beach, Duke at the desert, Duke at Disneyland. Hey, no, you don't understand. I got Duke in my face, man. We'll send out the next available unit. No, you gotta come now. This is an emergency. Operator. 
Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like to make a collect call. I know you're here. I can smell your sweat. You got a box canyon behind you, the river in front. The only place you're going is hell. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! See? The camouflage worked great. Just like the field book said. Well, what do we do now? Roll out of here like a bunch of tumbleweeds? It's nice and dark out now. Time to die! Good. Get it over with. I can't run anymore. I think we should hold our ground and put up a fight. Yeah, great. You get those leaves over there and stop the bullets, I'll get a pine cone and build a nuclear device. <laughs> Maybe I should try and talk with him. Oh, oh, oh! You speak coyote? You don't understand the criminal mind. He's just trying to frighten us. Well, it's working. He's got us all on his trap. Hey, I just got an idea. And I'm sure you two torture mavens will know what I'm talking about. I've had it. I'd like to teach him some manners. I'd like to burn his clothes. I'd like to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> what we really need to do is get to the road and contact the FBI. Well, how about none of the above? Mark, what are you doing? There's a big reward out for this nut, and you and I are going to collect it. We are? Yeah, it was the famous Grunsky sucker trap that got him. Well, yeah, but they helped us out. We ought to share with our den. We ought to share with our den. You disgust me, man. You give me no choice but to cancel you from the Grunsky family. Says who? Says me. I'm older. How you gonna do it, stupid? Erase my birth certificate? Look, Mark, you can have the reward, man. Just put the gun down. I mean, you know, I... Whoa! Oh! Hey! Oh, this is the worst! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out. Give me your hand! Hey, grab on! Help him! Hey, Thanks. Behind you, Mark! Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna fall for that one. Carefully. Never listens. Oh, 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 oh! oh nice dive, Ben. Okay. Everybody into the pool. Oh. oh. Oh, I hope this isn't true. Nightmare. So deep here. Are there any leeches in there? Oh, I don't hate a Okay, okay. Is everybody cozy? Well, I thought we were bad. You're rotten! I like that attitude. You can be the last to die. Thanks. Mom! Oh. Sorry, guys, it's the only help I can get. You're alive. Cowabunga, man. <laughs> My baby! <laughs> She found you. <laughs> That's how you want your best. 
Yeah, we know what scent she was tracking, huh? Richard, did you have to wear the new coat I bought you? What do you think I am, made of money, huh? I'm so glad you came, Mom. You know, I think our family bonding has reached a new plateau. Cut out the crap, Franklin. I missed my bingo gang for this. How you doing, Ma? You don't call for six months, and now this. Can I send you a whole case of belts? I'll give you a case of belts, babe. Ow! And as for you, Mark Grunsky, where do I get you home? And as for you, Glenn Grunsky, how dare you bother these nice boys when you have two devoted wives at home? Now, get over here! Get out! This is Section 7 of the FBI. Nobody move. It's Duke Earl. Okay, folks, you can drop your hands. You put away the Duke? Yes, sir. But there were two other fugitives. Well, we found them. Medevac them out. You know, there's quite a reward on the Duke's head. Plenty for all of you. <laughs> no. No. We should all go to Louis. He's the guy that pulled us through this ordeal, right, guys? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Gee, I couldn't, you guys. I... Oh, come on, Louie, you can buy your mom a new pair. Yeah. yeah. Who are you guys, anyway? Bounty hunters? Mercenaries? No, sir. We're Cub Scouts. Den 7. Pack 18. Mayfield, USA. 1961. Come on, man. Mark, come on, let's bury the hatchet. You're back in the den. Two fingers to the brow, mister. <laughs> and so, without further ado, let's give a big welcome to seven men whose skill and courage against extreme odds represents the best traditions of scouting. I hereby award you the honorary arrow of light, the highest award a Cub Scout can earn. Thank you, sir. This is the proudest moment of my life. We're proud of you, Louie. I'm going to wax mine every day, Mr. Dunson. Fine, Tim. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you have something in a tan with a darker border because I don't want it to clash with this? <laughs> no, Bill. But this one looks mighty good. Yeah, okay. Man, this is deep. This is too deep. You deserve it. Congratulations, Frank. Do you mind, maybe? Is that sharp, isn't it? Maybe I should... Uh, do you sterilize these before you do this? Richard, you couldn't be afraid of this after all you've been through. Congratulations. Glenn, I've never seen you at a loss of words before. Congratulations, Mark. Well, all right, then. Gentlemen, let's salute Den 7, Pack 18, 
more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For you know that I know, and I know that you know, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Come on, all you Cub Scouts out there, let's really get together and sing out. Let's go! The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For you know that I know, and I know that you know, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The happier we'll be. change our den mascot. Good. Owls is for poindexters. I vote sharks. Uh, well, beavers. No chance. How come? It does not. 